New York City streets, pre-coronavirus, were places where bikes had to share the road with cars and cabs. But because of present conditions, bikes have taken over Manhattan avenues and demand for them has been increasing. We got big clientele. We used to work in different shops, but we see new faces. Uh, people started riding more to, you know, commuting. Yeah, I see that more. People started taking out the bikes out of the basements. That's good. Uh, so they can, uh, you know, less traffic in the trains and uh, less people in the, in the you know, like closer. So they have it uh, socialized distance, you know. Bikes are an attractive means of transport for many reasons. The cost, there is no problem with parking, and New York City has loads of bike repair shops. Those who still use the subway see ads encouraging them to respect social distancing rules. That's easy, though, because trains are mostly empty due to the mandatory lockdowns and businesses shifting to teleworking. I'm a tiny bit more relaxed, but I'm still very careful because I know that we can't let our guard down. Even though I'm not wearing my mask right now. <laughs> You'll notice. I just walk, I don't take the subway anymore. So I just walk around my neighborhood. I walked here today from 91st Street, so. Yeah, for sure. I haven't been in the subway since March 15th. No, 13th, March 13th. As for the recent bike craze, it didn't happen overnight. It took people time to consider whether they even wanted to venture outside. I feel like everyone was just kind of scared and staying indoors. Like the end of April is when things really started to pick up. People want to avoid public transportation. It's a lot safer to go on a bike. And then also it's helped that the gyms are closed. So this is the only way that people can get, you know, exercise. And for frontline workers, such as doctors and nurses, it's a less costly way for them to get to their jobs. We have some nurses from out of states. So they've been using the bikes which is great and uh, we're also providing them big discounts so it helps them it helps us if this bike trend sticks manhattan may never fully go back to transportation the way it was pre-coronavirus